We're here with Dan Acorn, the latest Monk Confessions subject, and his roommate, Chad Rafferty. Housemate. 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 You guys live off campus. Now, did you live off campus last year? I, I lived off campus last year. Um, we had two senior ball players and then two junior players, myself and Sam Mary. Um, and these kids, we got two more juniors that filled in. Who else? Sean Drake is the other junior, and Sam Mary still lives with us. Okay. Steven, Sam Murray, he's a pitcher it's here. a great time, you know. What's it like living with this guy, Chad? I mean, I don't want to say it's terrible, but... <laughs> when, it's, when he says terrible, he really means awesome. We're boys. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It, it goes well most of the time, I suppose. The only time I mean, he goes... I wouldn't say he's always there, though. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Chad, you had a chance to look over Danny's answers on the Monk Confessions form. Anything stand out? Anything surprise you? Did you learn anything about your roommate? Learn anything? I don't know if I learned anything new. I, I saw a lot of what I expected on there. But um, the, he said he came here for the two to one ratio, girls to guys. Well, that seemed a little. Uh, it seemed a little out of character to me, maybe. Out of character? Yeah. Why do you say out of character? Well, I mean, the two to one ratio would imply that you've. I've talked to more than one girl ever. I believe in um, relationships. Okay. All right. Okay. How about his favorite song, Sideways by Cy High the Prince? Did you, is that something that doesn't, that kind of strikes me what as we do at our house, interesting. And the reason he doesn't like me as a roommate is because I'm way better at a video game called NBA 2K12. Way better. Like, is that where this song comes from? Yeah. Bars ahead. And, um, is that true, bars. Chad? Is he way, what does that mean? Interesting measurement. It's bar, like you know, bar, like, bar, like a bar, like a bar graph, yeah, like a like a bar test. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the song starts off. Um, I'm the best. I don't have to practice. Double team. I don't have to pass it. Um, I don't believe in this philosophy, but I just think it's funny. I think it's um, incredibly arrogant, which makes it funny. But um, I believe in it. <laughs> That's we differ. I'm a better human being. But Chad, what's your major? Marketing. Marketing. And. Acorn here is a psychology major. Don't forget the business minor. Business minor. Hard Very job. good. Very good. Uh, does Danny try to psychoanalyze you guys? Is, is he is, is, is he yeah, prod? He's, he's tried a couple times. Yeah. Successful. For a little practice. He, it's not bad. I'm a pretty successful. Yeah. He's yeah. got some insight. Good. Good. Uh, we've had some deep conversations. Oh, yeah. yeah. Deep, deep. <laughs> Who would you like to trade places for a day with and why? Do you want me to read what I said? Uh, no, I have it right in front of me. Gary Busey, Busey, because I'd like to understand what it feels like to know that I used to be relevant just to completely fall off the reservation. We now, that's quite, a, that's quite a reach there. I, I, that's, that's, a good, that's a good answer. What do you think of that, Chad? Is that, that's, Gary, that's a little surprising. Is Gary Busey the guy? From the rookie. Ro no, no rookie, rookie of the year. year. He was the pitcher. But you've seen Chats his mug seven. shots, like when he got arrested. Yeah, yeah. He just We've seen celebrity rehab that. with Dr. Drew. I mean, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, and he was in yeah. that. And he was sure. a loony. And rookie of the year when I was young was my favorite movie. And he was a stud. Chet Stedman. Chet Stedman. What was it? The High Cheddar or something? High Cheese? Something about something. Oh, no. All right. All right. So good. That's, that's a good one. That's, that's very interesting, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, a lot of your answers um, were like, Obviously sarcastic yes. and trying to have some fun, but what is on your bucket list? Hang out in an igloo? Yeah, was man. that just sarcasm or is that something? It's fairly sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, not, but not a reach. I would definitely like. You, we've seen uh, 007 uh, die another day, maybe where there's a huge igloo and it was the coolest thing I've seen hmm. since the, the '94. <laughs> so, <laughs> most memorable moment, you have a couple really good ones listed there. Uh, Chad, what, what would yours be as an athlete at St. Joe's? Who's his enemy for? It's for both of you. Okay. Yeah. Tag teams. Um, I think I said the other day in my other interview, you know, I, I do a couple. Yeah. Uh, Pretty recognizable. <laughs> that uh, the run we made at the regionals my freshman year was awesome. Yeah. Kept winning games and we almost had it. It was just a blast. Both you guys played big roles on that team. 
Yeah. <laughs> first, first impressions of each other. Chad, what was your first impression of Danny? Each other? Like the first time you ever met Danny Acorn. Probably at a baseball meeting or at or a practice in the fall. Yeah, it was definitely baseball, baseball somewhere. Uh, okay. I know, I know his first impression. Okay. Really funny. Like I, I, I was really funny, <laughs> um, and pretty cool. So, Danny, what was your first impression of Chad? Not so cool. Realistically, uh, I think we started doing this when we first met. Just going back and forth. Um, about yeah, irrelevant cool. stuff um, about baseball players who were better and who were worse. And actually, was it was that when we started doing like the who's going to play well on the team that day? That sounds like the, fa <laughs> the fantasy draft. The fantasy draft for our team. Yeah, on, on game days, you each yeah, pick a player. That's probably one of our first yeah. experiences together. Of course. So, what do you think? Uh, how practice is going so far, guys? You guys are about three and a half weeks in, give or take, something like um, that. Our team looks really good this year. Mm -hmm. Our pitching staff staff could potentially be very deep if we get everybody healthy. Um, our lineup is more complete, I think, this year. Um, I feel like last year we relied on people a little bit too much, but this year we have people that can hit up and balance. Down. Yep, balance. Um, our defense should be pretty good. Not pretty good, very good. Um, I think we'll be a really good team. Talk a little bit about your double play duo that you have going on right now. Um, I love it. You know, my biggest thing is in baseball is just having quick hands, having smooth hands. And um, I take pride in that. And I think our second baseman, Brandon Chase, does the same thing. He takes pride in it. Um, I think this year we have potential to turn a lot of double plays. And uh, it's probably my favorite thing to do in baseball is just have a nice looking double play. And what were you thinking? Of course, one your other memory, other than sliding into home plate as a pinch runner, was last year turning the double play. Yep. That was a four six three, right? Yep. What were oh, you thinking? Beautiful. What were you, do you remember that what was going through your mind? When Tyler was pitching, I was like, he's gonna throw him a fastball low and away, he's gonna pull it, roll it over to me. And um, I'm gonna turn it ended. I'm not sure if it was a uh, fastball low and away, but I remember he hit it to me and I was just ready for it and it just felt so good. Turned it, flipped it to soup. Yeah. On I don't even remember soup doing anything. I just I flipped it to Okay, him so it was a six four three. Yeah, yeah, six four three. I, yeah, I wasn't listening. It's all right. You're not good with numbers. We see that. I'm not good with listening either. But um, <laughs> it's good for a psychologist. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just, I don't. I don't remember flipping it to him, but I remember the, the celebration afterwards. Who's a better dancer? Come on. <laughs> I, yeah. I give that one to him. He I'm likes to show up. off his moves. Any chance he gets, he shows him off, doesn't he? Do you want he really only has a couple moves. Do you, do you He's got this one move, though, that's out of this world. Dynamite. Boom. There goes a dynamite. This is your cue to do the move. All right. Do, do, you, your, do your move to, to, uh, to end our interview. Here we go. Something. There it is. I believe you were caught at the New England Regional. Last year during a fog delay, dancing my doing that. Oh, yeah, you don't even know half. I dance to just to dance, man. Mm -hmm. I break it down. I make people jealous. I make people happy. It's okay. I said we would close the interview with that, but actually, let's. So, what do you think of those blue men at the basketball games? Ah, awesome. Yeah. Hectic. What do you think, Chad? I haven't been yet. Yeah. I don't know. Busy guy. I, should, I guess I shouldn't say that. I would say, I think they're great. You know, it's great just bringing some more energy to the crowd. And, yeah. Yeah. Good I stuff. would say one of the blue men resembles a lot of uh, myself. That's a strange coincidence. It's a strange coincidence. Very strange. It is. Yeah. It is. What What differs between that blue man and yourself? What uh, are some skin color? Skin color. <laughs> yep. Good answer. Anything uh, else? Personality oh. traits? No. He's a. Doesn't dance as much. Should dance more, but doesn't dance as much. Okay. Well, maybe you can talk with him. Um, he yells a lot. Angry stuff. I'm not very angry. He's angry. He's angry. I'm not angry. Hmm. Other than that, we're pretty peas in a potish. All right. Good. Well, guys, thanks for your time. I know uh, it's been a long afternoon here after baseball practice. But, so uh, in the close. Okay. If you didn't notice. Uh, we noticed. Okay. We noticed. I'm still... Will you guys enjoy the weekend? We will. Thanks for being here.